Hi, my name is Becky. Welcome to Learning Chinese. 学中文 Today, we'll learn how to type Chinese on the computer. Now, we can type English, so why can't you type Chinese? One of the first things that you're going to have to see if you have is the Chinese configuration on your computer. And if you don't have it, well, we can check and we can always add it. Right now, I'll show you how to do that. I work on a PC, so I'm going to teach you how to configure it on a PC. So, what you do is you go to Explore, this little panel in the corner, can you see? It's a little small on the screen, but it's right there. And then you're going to click this and you get this uh, menu that you can work with. On the right side is something called the Control Panel. Click. And then you get this huge list of possible applications. You're going to look for the one that's a globe. Now I'm working on the PC and any Microsoft operating system should work similar. I use a Vista, you may use a different version, but they should all be fairly uh, similar. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down, look for this icon, regional and language. It's right there, it's like a globe and it has a little clock in front of it. Here, I'll zoom in for you in case you can't see it right there regional and language good now zoom back out you're gonna double click and you get this window now this window tells you what you already have and that's the format but we're gonna go to the we're gonna show you a little bit closer let's see so here it is. Now, we're going to go to the tab at the top that says Keyboards and Languages. Click on it, and you just simply say Change Keyboard. Don't worry, this doesn't get rid of your US English typing, it's just you have the option to add. See right here? You, I already have these. I have Spanish and Chinese. I have English, Spanish, Chinese, and Spanish. But let's say, here we go. Is that better? Let's see. There we go. You might be able to see this a little better. English, Chinese, and Spanish. Let's say, what if I didn't have it? See this button right here? Add. So I'm going to click on it. And immediately you're given a window of several different languages. Whoops, wrong way. Sorry, we're going to go this way so you can see all of them. And Spanish, not the one I was looking for since I am teaching Chinese. What you're going to do is scroll up until you get to the C's, in which case you find that you have many options for Chinese. Going down, you see you have Chinese Simplified. I don't know if that's clear. Here, I'll zoom in a little bit. And all these different choices. Well, which one do you pick? Pick the one that says Chinese Simplified PRC, People's Republic of China. This is Mandarin, and it is mainland China. It is the most widely used version of Chinese. Therefore, it would benefit you to use this one while typing. And then, you see all these different types of ping on the keyboard? I chose Chinese Simplified Chin Ping version 6. These aren't a big difference. You can play around, see which one matches your uh, preferences, but that's the one I picked. When you're ready, you simply place a check mark next to it, like so. Press OK, and then it's set up. Now, even though it's set up, how do you use it on your computer? Well, I'll show you by... Let's open up a Word document. And you... Ooh. This is still zoomed in. Okay. 
So, right now I'm set in English. And how can I tell? Hmm. This could be a little, let's see. How can I tell? Well, when you go down to the very bottom of your screen, you know the menu bar, and you go all the way to the right. Too far? Do you notice this symbol right here? Right here at the very bottom, it says EN and then a blue question mark next to it. EN stands for English. When you want to change it to Chinese, what you do is you press Control Tab. Now what happens? Look, it turns into CH and then you have the red square and Zhong for Chinese. That signals that you're within the parameters for writing Chinese. Now sometimes you'll see this. CH, same thing, but now the little character on the side says Ying, and we know that Ying Yi is English. Now when you use this and type, what you get is English. So how do you change it to Chinese? Press Shift, and look, your little character is back to Zhong, which means that you can type in Chinese. Now, I'll show you a few examples. Okay, we'll change the font a bit. Make this big enough so that you can see. Okay. So let's see, what's a big font? 72? Okay. So this is English. That's not what we want. We want Chinese. Control space. And your little bar at the bottom right here, now that's a lot smaller. It's it's going to Chinese and it says Zhong. So now what do you want to say? Chinese? Well that's Zhong Wen. Remember, type in the ping. Z-H-O-N-G, and you get your little 